Welcome back, guys. It's uh, three months now since the last purge that I did on the hot tub. Someone asked me to do another one, so I'm going to. I was looking on YouTube to try to remember how I did it the last time, and um, I mean, they just waste so much time and, and talking and talking. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna show you what I do. And it's really not that hard. So I've got my bottle of purge, okay? It's called Spa Purge, okay? Natural, natural Chemistry Spa Purge. And all you have to do, oh, first what you do is you take the filter out. So give me a minute. First, I wanna take this cover off, which see how easy it is? I can do this so easy, look. Soon my assistant is coming. My wonderful assistant. What I'm gonna do with this cover is I'm gonna lay it outside. Since my hot tub's inside in my sunroom, I'm gonna open up the cover and let the top part here that you know usually covers the water, I'm gonna lay in, and the sun will make that nice and clean, but I will wash it down also and then I'll do the top of it. But here's what you have to do. Take this off and get your filter out. So you just unscrew this, take your filter out. And I need a, hon, do you have a pail I could put this in? Here's my filter, which it's pretty clean because I actually just cleaned this recently. All right, so let me put it here for a moment. It'll stay. Yeah, okay, now that's out. Let me get rid of this. Okay. All I'm going to do is take this out. That's your chlorine thingy. I do have a chlorine tablet on the bottom there. I don't know if I need to take that out or not, but I don't know. Probably, probably be a good idea, but I don't want to go in there. So. <laughs> but I mean, I've been maintaining the chemistry and stuff. For the past three months, just doing my bromine tablets, spa oxidizer. Oh, there you are. Ooh, I need a um a a pail to put this filter in because it's leaking on the floor. Shoot, I didn't even realize it was gonna leak like that. Alright, so while he gets that. See I was I'm doing what they're doing, wasting time. Sorry about that guys. Because I know you just want to see. I think it's just a matter of pouring this spa purge, which I'm going to do. You keep the, okay, you keep the um, hot tub going. You don't unplug it just yet, okay? So pour it in, it's nasty brown stuff. You pour that in. I didn't have a whole bottle, and I'm, I don't think I need a whole bottle, but thank you. Look at this. I'll just put my, it's all wet over here now. Shoot, got to tell. Hang on, guys. There, put that there, put that there. Now, this is the fun part. There's Gigi, she's my assistant too. Now I'm going to run the jets and watch how it foams up. Amazing. It'll foam really hard. I waited for the water to go down quite a bit and I didn't refill it because I knew I was going to purge. So that's good. So, anyway, watch it foam. I remember the first time I did this, I was in shock. Okay, open up all your jets. Make sure you want to make sure they're open and the waterfall. Jake, did you push the, the valve right there to get the waterfall going? Yeah, that. Just turn it. Turn it. And the waterfall will come shooting out. It's not turning. Really? Let me do it. It's got to turn to let the, for the waterfall, no? Okay. Ooh! I'm going to take this out. Because yeah. that's got to be washed too, remember? So there's the waterfall going. And all the jets are open, and look at all the foam. And what that's doing is getting all the biofilm out of the pipe. You do it for five minutes at least. So I'm going to run this for about 
15, 20 minutes, okay? And then what it says to do is just let it sit overnight. Where's the bottle? Hang on, guys. Oh, you have it. It says, you can see it. So you remove the cartridge filter elements. Make sure your hot tub is above 95 degree temperature. Circulating, running. Add the entire contents of the bottle of spa water. I only used half at one time and I'm only using half now. I think it's good enough because I keep my hot tub very clean anyway. So, and I only did it three months ago. So run the jets for a minute or five, a minimum of five minutes. If foaming becomes excessive, turn the jets off. Some foaming is expected during the purge process. Right now it's not up to the top, so I'm just gonna let it keep running. Okay, um, maintain the water temperature. All right. Now, allow the spot to circulate overnight with the jets off. So after about 15 minutes of doing this, I'm gonna shut the jets off. Then I'm gonna let it sit till tomorrow. Then all you have to do is drain it, rinse it, clean it, and then refill it. So, okay, and then proceed with the normal maintenance. So after I um, do all this, I'm gonna cut the video. And then tomorrow I'll come in and show you when it's, see it is foaming up almost to the top now. It's unbelievable how it does foam. So, Anyway, tomorrow I'll come in and I'll show you. What happens usually in the morning, the foam is gone. You know, it just settles. And then you just empty it. I have a sump pump, I'll show you how I do that. And then, um, and then clean it, you know, with just, I'll probably just do a vinegar or something and a, and a damp breath, go all around the jets and stuff. But I'll show you tomorrow. So there you go, that's one video about purging and I, I'm using this spa purge, which is expensive. And I don't know if I really needed to use the whole bottle. I know it says that you should use the whole bottle, but look at the job it's doing. I mean, I saw it last time the foam was unbelievable. I don't, I don't see why I have to use the whole thing. It's 20 bucks every time you use it. So for me, it'll be 10 bucks. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be just as clean, but you, you do what you want. I'm doing what I want. All right, thank you.